Hey, it's Sonny, and I'm here with another Sonny's Piano Wellness and TV show for you today. This is a TV show where you come to to relax, to unwind, to listen to soothing music, and to see some beautiful pianos. And today, as usual, lots of uh, different pianos for you to hear and see. And also today we're going to feature uh, me leading you through one of my piano yoga sessions. So these are stretching exercises and breathing and relaxation exercises you can do while you're sitting there at home in your couch or on your chair or at your piano. So uh, here we go. Remember, breathe, relax, enjoy yourself. Pianos are healing, they're healthy, they're therapeutic, and everyone can play the piano. Thanks for watching. Hey, it's Sonny, and I'm here with another Sonny's Piano Video Tour for you today. And today we're featuring this magnificent Steinway Model S. This is 5 foot 1 inches long. This is considered the Steinway Baby Grand. And this uh, we just had rebuilt. We put on new pins, new strings, new pin block, new soundboard, new finish, new key tops. We upgraded the action. And this was originally made in 1938, which is considered the golden age of Steinway manufacturing in this country. And uh, this piano just came out sounding great and looking great. We, we're calling this a custom, uh, Sonny's custom charcoal finish. This is a, uh, a slightly off black, and it just is beautiful, fits the uh, kind of motif that people have in their homes these days, uh, modern interior.
Hey, it's Sonny, and I'm here with another Sonny's Piano video tour for you today. And today we're featuring this beautiful art case Kanabi. It's got beautiful burled walnut, and this was uh, rebuilt, refinished though, a few years back. And they put on new pins, new strings, new dampers. Uh, they refinished the case. They put on new hammers and new key tops. And look at the carvings on this. This is just magnificent. This is all hand carved. Look at this over here. This is just fantastic. Just a, very, a lot of detail in this piano. Lots and lots of detail on the legs. It's got little things on the arms here. Beautiful. The, the pedal wire. And, and listen to the uh, tone on this. It's really rich. Very bell-like Kanabis. One of the best handcrafted uh, pianos, American pianos ever made. So this piano has a piano disc prodigy system and it runs off of this iPad and this iPad has 3,000 songs. Some of the songs are just piano. Some of them are piano and vocals. And I'm going to play this for you. This is Andrea Bocelli. And he's doing that great classic Caruso. You have volume controls here, both for the master control, you have for the piano, voice, Thank you. 
hours and hours of fun. Yes, a player system in a Yamaha G2. So the Yamaha G2 is from 1986 and didn't really get much playing time on it. So the uh, owners put the player system in it just a few years ago and also didn't get much playing time on it. So, uh, yeah, this piano mm -hmm, mm -hmm, going to make somebody very, very happy. I wonder who. Maybe it'll be you. I'm Sonny, and w once again, we're recording this live in my studio in Port Jefferson. And you can call, make an appointment, check out all our pianos, come down, or you can just look at all the videos, and you can call me wherever you are in the country, and uh, we can um, purchase it, uh, and we can send it right out to you. So, Yamaha G3, 1986, Ebony Gloss, with a piano disc prodigy system with 3,000 songs. I like it. Hey, it's Sonny, and I'm here with another Sonny's Piano Video Tour for you today. And today, we're featuring an Essex. Yes, an Essex by Steinway, no less. And this is 5 foot 3. It was made in 2007. It's a very young piano. Almost no playing time on it. It was purchased by a wealthy woman. And uh, it has a player system in it, which we're upgrading. Right now, it has the QRS, and we're putting in the QRS Pianomation 3. So, state of the art, latest bells and whistles, and uh, but this really sounds good. I'm very impressed. It has a nice, rich tone and a very nice action.
Hey, it's Sonny, and I'm here with another Sonny's Piano Video Tour for you today. And today we're featuring this pretty little 1993 Samic Le Petit Baby Grand, four foot six inches long. sounding piano very rich I think they really put some great hammers on here use some great parts this sounds like an excellent finely made piano and it's a player piano it's got a piano disc player system on it it takes both CDs and floppies yes it does Hi, this is what I call Sonny's Piano Yoga. I'm going to show you a series of breathing, stretching, and relaxation exercises that you can do right before you play the piano that will enhance your piano playing abilities. All right, so let's get right to it. Take a deep breath through an open mouth like this. Inhale and exhale. And inhale and exhale. You know, because the more relaxed you are, the easier it is to do anything and everything, but in particular, when you play the piano, if you relax, you get into the flow, and then you'll enjoy yourself much, much more. All right, so let's start with this. Shoulder rolls. Roll your shoulders backwards. Big shoulder rolls like this. Very nice. Breathe through your mouth. Inhale and exhale. Come on, do these with me. Now roll your shoulders forward. That's it. Just relax. Roll your shoulders. That's it. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, bring up this shoulder. Bring it down. Bring up this one and down. Bring this one up and down, this one up and down. Now let's bring both up and down and up again and down. Just relax, okay? Now stretch back, shoulders back, shoulders forward, shoulders back and forward, shoulders back and forward. Particularly when we're playing the piano, we want to loosen up shoulder muscles, okay? And the neck muscles. We don't want to be sitting too tight because that'll restrict our flow, all right? And our speed and our velocity. Okay, so take a deep breath and exhale. Good. Okay, okay, let's try this. Grasp your elbow. Stretch over to the side. Don't do too hard. Good. And over here. Not too hard. Easy. Stretch. Breathe. Relax. Easy does it. Good. There you go. Mm, good, good, good. And over here. You know, legend has it that Chopin used to admonish his students, suppleness, suppleness, he would say. Before all else, suppleness. And so true it is, because the more relaxed you are, the easier it is to play the piano. Okay, good. Take a deep breath again. 
Exhale, good. Nice and loose, loosen up in here. Again, deep breath. Exhale, relax. Okay, let's try this. Grasp the top of your knee. Just bring it up a little bit. Just a little bit, just a little stretch here. Put in here for the lower back and the hip. Good, very nice. All right, let's do the other one. Bring the knee up, like that. Stretch towards you in a way, easy, easy. No strain, no force, just loosen up, relax. See, the idea here is that if you get into the flow with the exercises, then when you play the piano, you'll be in the flow already. So it'll be a lot easier to just relax and play the piano, all right? Take a deep breath now. Exhale, and again, deep breath, and exhale. Okay, let's do something for the neck now. Just let your head fall to the side, easy, easy. Don't bounce, don't force it. Good, to the other side, just a little stretch. That's it. And now to the other side, easy, easy. Just relax, the other side. Good, good, very nice. The other side, good, good, and the other side. That's all, good, take a deep breath. Exhale, okay, now let's just relax the muscles right here, the base of your skull. Just place your hand here, just make a circular motion, and loosen up the muscles, get nice and relaxed. Take a deep breath, exhale, right over here, that's it. Okay, do the same thing on the other side, just loosen up, good. All right, now let's do both. Good, loosen up, very nice, good, good, good. The sides of your neck a little bit. Good. Very nice. Okay. Circle. Good. Okay, now interlock your hands here. Okay, now take a deep breath. Exhale. Okay, stretch your elbows out. Easy, easy. Not too hard. And then relax. Then out. And relax. And again, out. Good. And let's stretch to the side a little bit. Nice and easy. Loosen up. Good, easy, easy, relax into it, to this side. Come on, join in, do this with me. Come on, good, good. Very nice, side to side. Very good, very good, very good. Okay, nice, very nice, good, okay. Just shake this hand out a little bit, shake this hand out a little bit, shake both out. Good, loosen up, good. Again, deep breath, exhale, good. Okay. Let's do one more for the face now. Rub the palms of your hands together, hard and fast, a little harder, a little faster. Create some warmth, create some heat in your palms, good. And now place the warm part of your palms gently over your eyes, palming your eyes. Just relax, let the heat from your hands soak into the muscles around your eyes, relaxing your forehead and your eyes. Again, take a deep breath now, exhale, rub the palms again, hard, faster. Okay, over the eyes and just relax, relax, relax. Good, very nice, very nice, good. Now deep breath, exhale. All right, let me show you a few more things regarding tension and relaxation when it comes to piano playing. All right, so when you're sitting at your piano, it's important that you be very comfortable, all right, relaxed, all right? You don't wanna be sitting too far away, all right, because that creates tension and you don't want to be cramped up in here because that creates tension, all right, got that? All right, you want to be sitting comfortable, just at the right distance for you. Now, another thing is you don't want your wrist down here, all right, this is no good. You don't want to be up here. You want everything nice and straight like this, okay? Got that, all right? Elbow straight, wrist straight, all right, parallel to the keyboard, good. All right, now another thing, don't want to sit up too straight, don't want to be over here, you want to be somewhere in the middle, nice and relaxed, all right? You have to be comfortable. Legs are out, stretched out in front of you, all right? Okay? Every once in a while, while you're playing, take a slow, deep breath, like this. Inhale, exhale. In fact, when you inhale, make sure you're breathing from the belly or the diaphragm, as we call it. Because most people are high chest breathers. When they inhale, they do this, okay? They Inhale, they suck the stomach in, they draw the shoulders up. That's not what we're after. What we're after is this. When you inhale, you want to expand the stomach and then the chest. Exhale, contract the stomach and the chest. Got that? So watch again. Inhale, exhale. Okay, 
See the difference in the amount of air that you get in? When you chest breathe, you do this. When you belly breathe, you get this, watch. That'll help you to be more relaxed, you'll have more oxygen, be able to concentrate better, you'll have more velocity, more flexibility, more eye-hand coordination. So again, every once in a while, before you play, while you're playing, just take a slow deep breath, inhale, exhale, and you'll find that you'll be in the flow a lot easier, and you'll play a lot easier, you'll have a lot more fun, it'll be more enjoyable, okay? All right, so, deep breath, exhale, and again, do these exercises before you play.